Hello guys, Igor here doing one more Epsomo review. Today analyzing iAlert, a tool that claims to respond faster to site alerts, monitor uptime, and communicates incidents with status page. It's an alternative to paid dot, ops gene, status page. Epsomo had a tool like that called Better Uptime. So it's an uptime monitoring tool, helping you to respond faster to critical alerts, manage on-call schedules, and communicate incidents via status space. They have also that communicate feature where you can, you know, uh, faster engage with your team to solve issues related to your website downtime. So that tool is to help you to get to know when your site is down and act fast to solve the problem. The Geo will give you all the professional features too. I think I think that tool has more than uh, 10 years of development. And the difference here will be the number of alert source, source and status page. If you get one code, 50 alert, alert source and one status page. There's a limit here of WhatsApp notifications, uptime monitors, etc. If you get tier two, you you get also the SMS and voice notifications per month, starting 50. And if you get the tier two, three, you get the unlimited here, more status space, etc. Okay, all of them will be in the same plan. All right, so let's check out and see how the tool works. Here is the website. You can invite the users like that, adding their email, choosing a whole a role. You can also create teams to group your users. For instance, if you have three websites, you can create a team one, two, team two, and team three grouping people involved in the development of those websites. They have a Slack integration here. Also, those are the integration, Microsoft Teams, Jira, Autotasks, Data Docs and Desk, Discord, GitHub, etc. So many integrations that you can use as a connector. Here on account settings, you can change the tool to Deutsch as well, so it's bilingual. You can also change the time zone. Here you create an alert. Just click on the plus button. You select the source, it's new alert. To create your monitor, uh, your uptime monitor, you go here in alert source and click on uptime monitor. Click on create, and then you're gonna add any name, the re uh, region it has SSL, you click here, and then you add your website. You can select uh, to alert in six hours, one day, three days, one week, two weeks. You can select to check the fingerprint of the certificate as well. On policy, you can specify who in your team will be notified when an alert is created. Click on save, and it's done you create an alert for that website. You can create a maintenance window to temporarily disable an alert source. Let's say you need to make change on your website and it will be down. So you don't need to receive alerts when you are uh, putting your web website down for maintenance. So in that way, you can schedule a new maintenance window. Here on the scheduling uh, is where you can create your escalation policies to notify the person who will be responsible for that specific website and the person who, of course, needs to know when the website is down. You can create a status page. This can be public or private. You can give a name for the page, create a new URL for that, specify the time zone. You can upload a logo and a favicon to be displayed on your status page. You can add a custom domain on your status page and also show a subscribe button to get subscribers from this status page. This status will look like that and you will see if you have 100% uptime monitoring or not or less. So it's an uptime monitoring tool if you need a tool like that. It, I, I think it, uh, the main thing about that tool is the number of features that they have to notify you, SMS, WhatsApp, and also the team communication that's really precise. So it seems to me to be an enterprise tool in a way that you can just notify the exactly person that needs to know and fast 
how to act to solve the problem of the downtime. I hope you liked that review. If you please could help me, click on the link in the, descrip in the description to help me to keep going. Thank you. Bye-bye.